Hey everyone, it's Jenny. I have, um, I guess it's some project shares to um, go over or share with you. Um, but I just wanted to kind of show you something first. So I've been playing around, as you know, with um, some of my new th items that I got. And I just wanted to show you um, something that um, I wish I knew before I bought them. Um, these are the Distress Crayons, and I'm not saying I don't like it, I just, um, I thought that they would blend better on watercolor paper. Um, so I tried it several different ways, and I just didn't like the results that I got um, for that. I think the best way to use them, for me anyway, is for the watercolor look, is to just put them on your craft mat and pick it up with um, a water brush and paint with them. But that's, I just wanted to show you what it looked like. I kind of, I tried to rub it. I tried all different things and it just didn't give me the results that I like. I still like the colors and I think I'll like it using them to um, color up images, but I kind of don't like it for backgrounds. Um, I'm liking the Distress Oxide inks a lot. And I also um, was playing with my Gonsai Tombies, which are more of a regular watercolor um, look. Um, but anyway, let me just kind of show you what I've been doing. So earlier I showed you um, that I had already embossed to do some embossed resist. And I actually played around with some of them. Um, and I have a whole stack more that I haven't gotten to yet, but um, let me just kind of show you what I did. So I started with the Gansai Tombies, and um, they are like true watercolors, except they're darker. So um, you get a more vibrant color from it. So that's um, one of them that I did. Here's another one. So you see how it has like that faded look? Um, I like it. I think that it's um, true to the watercolor look. Now this one I wish I did it in um, not clear. I wish I did it in white instead. I think it would have been brighter. Um, and it, it was it's okay. It just um, I think I wish I did it in white. And then this one is the metallics that I was showing you earlier. Um, this one would have also looked better in white. Um, but I think the clear um, disappears in it a little bit too much for me um, but I do I do like the metallic look I think I just have to figure out a different way to use it um, I just want I just kept that so I could show you and then um, then I played more with my distress oxides and I gotta say I love the results so here's one of them I just played around and tried to you know I just like the rainbow colors in this palette so that's just the ones that I haven't decorated yet. Um, and earlier I had shown you that I had um, already stamped and used my scan and cut for um, a lot of my Love Cynthia stamps that I got. Because otherwise I don't use it. Um, so I had, I needed to make a birthday card. And I'm not sure which one I'm going to use yet. I think I do know. but um, I'm, And then I started just adding the images onto um, the card bases. So I'll have a whole bunch that's kind of ready to go. I'm not done yet. I'm going to um, actually decorate them with um, some kind of bling, like either enamel dots or um, sequins or rhinestones or something. But So this is one of them. This is using the Gansai Tombi um, watercolor background. And then I like that one. I think that one came out pretty cute. And then the, here's a thank you card and a celebrate. I think this is the one that I'm going to give to my friend. Um, but anyway, so that those are ones that are like almost finished, like they're actually on a card base. I have to buy more craft card stock because I think when you have the water, the rainbow look, it looks good on craft because it doesn't like compete with your um, images or the background. Um, and then here's more that I did. So I, this one has a lot of white space, which is hard for me, <laughs> but I wanted to kind of keep it simple and focus on the watercolor. So I did something like this earlier. So I'm going to put, I have to put something like coming from her hand. Yeah. Um, then thank you. Here's the celebrate. I like this one because she's shopping. <laughs> 
and then here's the birthday one so they're kind of like I just have to cut the card bases and put them mount them on but I haven't um, I got to go through my paper and see like what color card stocks I have that will match because um, I'm kind of running out of craft so I need to um, go to the store and get some more of that so I can make more card bases um, anyway I just wanted to show you these are very um, easy to make once you kind of do the backgrounds um, you just have to add your images and I had already pre-colored a lot of the images um, so I just kind of matched them to see which ones would fit and and so forth so um, I hope you like my project share I had a lot of fun making these I just wanted to show you um, you know the differences in the I really like this distress oxide I think that the coloring is really nice and when it dries it has this different look from regular watercolors see this is all the distress oxides I think the majority of the ones I like were the distress oxides this is the Gansai Tombi so you can see the difference yeah which I still like too it's just a different look so anyway, um, I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye! Hey everyone, it's Jenny. Okay, I'm back. I finished the card, and I just wanted to share with you what it looks like when it's done. So I decided to use this card, and I had already um, shown you that I added the girl and had done the watercoloring. So I just added some stars because it's like celebrate. And then I did the inside, so I had um, I had this Simon Says stamp set that I've never used, and I wanted to use it, so I added in the sentiment, which is really cute. And but I think what happened was it wasn't quite dry yet, and so you could kind of—it's hard to see in this light, but you can kind of see the little black smudge. Um, it must have gotten on my hands and so I was like oh, I don't want to redo this whole card for that so what I did was I added a piece of washi tape um, that kind of coordinates with the colors of the card so I have she'll probably notice but I'm just gonna leave it <laughs> and she's gonna laugh because she knows that's my personality but anyway um, anyways I have to get this card ready to give but I will talk to you guys in the next video bye